Remember, all things here are alleged and in our opinion, child, and we do not have to fall out by our opinion. We can agree to disagree in love. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, dog? What up, dog? What up, dog? Welcome back to the channel here. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you already know what to do. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure that you also subscribe listen as you can see we are going to get into a couple of things here we're going to be getting into megan the stallion and carl crawford child the never-ending situation when it comes to them child motion have been filed child so yes we're going to get into that of course and then we are also going to get into tip and Tiny Harris in regards to what they have going on with Sabrina Peterson, okay? So, I'm keep you all updated in regards to everything that we have going on. So, make sure, again, that you hit that like button, you subscribe, get your goalies, and also join our Patreon community. Um, you might as well join it. It's, it's, it's just $3.75. Join today. Carl Crawford wants Megan Thee Stallion sanctioned for knowingly filing and maintaining groundless and frivolous claims against him. 15 on 1 certified entertainment. Yes, child, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. It looks as if we now have an update on the Megan Thee Stallion and Carl Crawford thing. In case if you guys don't know, this comes on the hill of Megan announcing her album coming out and also stating that she's funding the entire thing herself. The real hotties, not the naughties. Kind of them too. <laughs> but this part of my album is definitely very much funded by Megan Thee Stallion because you know, we trying to get off. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know what's the tea. Um, uh, but I have no label right now and we're doing everything funded straight out of Megan Thee Stallion Pockets. So the budget is coming from me. Hot Girl Productions. Motherfucking Hot Girl Productions. The next shit y'all about to see. So let's get into this story here really quick. All right. Now, Carl Crawford wants Megan Thee Stallion sanctioned for knowingly filing and maintaining groundless and frivolous claims against him. 1501 Certified Entertainment. Let's get into it. Carl Crawford wants the courts to punish Megan Thee Stallion for her alleged lies and harassment. I want to say shout out to the Jasmine brand. The link to this story will be in the description box of this video. All right. Uh, again, Carl Crawford wants the court to punish Megan Thee Stallion for her alleged lies and harassment. Megan Thee Stallion filed a motion in April asking the judge to appoint a third-party receiver to uh, assume control of 1501 Certified Entertainment's finances. Now, she accused Carl, including label execs Jay Prince and G. Robertson, of draining their funds and failing to pay her. 
Now, Radar Online reported that in re response to Megan Thee Stallion's request, 1501 and Carl Crawford are demanding that she, she be sanctioned for knowingly filing and maintaining groundless and frivolous claims. Now, um, and for the requesting that someone else assume management of 1501 finances, which they claim was in, in bad faith and solely for harassment. Now, child. Now, Carl Crawford's lawyer wrote, but to gain an unfair advantage in this proceeding, Ms. Pete and her counsel falsely and publicly misrepresented 1501's finances, stayed in an attempt to both strangle 1501's business operations and drag Mr. Crawford's reputation by forcing him to litigate this case in his individual capacity. Now, the music exec stated that 1501 had enough money to pay for any judgment that Megan Thee Stallion might receive. Now, Crawford also noted that 1501 is the owner of Megan's Masters, which are valued at tens of millions of dollars. He requested that the rapper receive uh, sanctions and be dismissed from the case on an individual basis. Now, the drama between Megan and Carl Crawford dates back to March 2020. Since then, the Houston rapper has filed multiple lawsuits against the CEO and formal label as she attempts to break free from her current contract. Now, Megan has made several claims that the terms and deals are unfair. However, Crawford in 1501 said that they have a legal contract in place and Megan has yet to satisfy all of her obligations. Uh, she filed a lawsuit in 2022 requesting that 2021, requesting her 2021 record, something for the hotties, be counted as an album. However, 1501 declared it was not an album <laughs> since it was since it only lasted 29 minutes. Now, in April, Megan expressed her uh, belief that Crawford was receiving a substantial income from the sales of her music, but claimed less than ten thousand dollars was found in one of the label's main bank accounts. Now, she and her attorneys alleged that millions had been transferred into the account, but the majority had been taken out. Now, after more than a year of back and forth, the parties are getting ready for trial where it can be decided if Megan will be released from her contract. So, wow, I would definitely like to know your thoughts and opinions on this um, when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion and Carl Crawford's business dealings and the things that they have going over there. Now, I've always, you know, just wanted to keep you guys updated on the Megan Thee Stallion and Carl Crawford situation because it is quite ugly in my opinion, okay? Um, but y'all drop down in the comment section and definitely let me know what you feel about that, of course, all right? Uh, make sure you hit that like button, all right? Make sure you subscribe, all right? Let's get into our next story. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now, T.I. and Tiny's ex-friend Sabrina Peterson files motion to dismiss couple's countersuit um, after losing nearly her entire defamation and assault case. Now, if you guys don't remember this, this rocked the internet for quite some time. The story about T.I. and Tiny and their friend Sabrina Peterson. Let's get into it. Married musicians T.I. and Tiny Harris are facing some legal pushback in court. Now, according to a recent report from Radar Online, the couple's former friend, Sabrina Peterson, wants the judge to drop their counter lawsuit against her. Now, reportedly, Sabrina Peterson filed a motion requesting that uh, the uh, $165,000 T.I. and Tiny uh, Harris claims that she owes them be dismissed and severely reduced. If you recall, the uh, entertainers sued her for sued her to cover their legal fees after successfully beating most of their defamation case. All right, against them. Now, in a new motion, the businesswoman reportedly claimed that the amount the pair is suing for 
mm, is an inflated number, child, and that the invoices from their legal team do not accurately reflect the amount that they're seeking. Now, again, you see here the story was there. Now, the motion for countersuing is not a good faith effort to collect fees owed, but is a Hail Mary attempt at disgoring uh, all fees associated with the litigation in this situation, all right? And it goes on to say that at, the, at this time, the judge has reportedly not decided on the matter yet. Now, Peterson's fight against the Harris family stems from her accusations that the rap star T.I. real name Clifford Harris, Harris previously assaulted her. She claimed that after getting into an argument with a 43-year-old uh, assistant, he put a gun to her head stating, B, I'll unalive you. Okay. Now, additionally, Peterson claimed that the rapper put a hit out on her and that he and his wife, Tamika Tiny Harris, 48, subsequently went on to try and discredit her claims in the media. The Glam University CEO then filed a lawsuit against the pair for defamation and assault. Um, as we previously reported, however, an appeal court decided earlier this year that the majority of the suit didn't stand up in court. Now, five of the seven charges filed against them were dropped promptly. Uh, I'm sorry, prompting the couple's countersuit. Now, at this time, it does not appear that either T.I. or Tiny have reacted to the ongoing legal situation with Peterson. Uh, and we will continue to keep you guys updated. Shout out to the Jasmine brand. I'll go ahead and make sure that I put the uh, uh, a link to this in the comment section below um guys let me know what you feel about this um you know this has been an ongoing situation in regards to this uh you know and i understand that we're going to have our own opinions we don't fall out about our opinions around here i don't know them enough to feel some type of way about it but hey if i feel like if all of the cases be dropped and dismissed then i definitely believe that they sh they she should pay their legal fee. I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. That's just my opinion on that, Sabrina. Um, but I think this is gonna be. This is a. This has been a long fight, and I don't think that it's gonna be ending anytime soon unless they dismiss those other cases. So it'll be very interesting to find out what happens, child. Again, be sure to let me know what you guys feel down in the comment section below. Keep it respectful as possible. You know what I'm saying. But I appreciate you guys for uh, uh, tuning into this video. Please make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. And make sure you bang that notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I do have coming up here on the channel. All right. So with that being said, y'all, I appreciate y'all so much for Again, tuning into this video, and I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. Bye. The Chef Don Don Productions presents School of a Love, honey. A new LGBTQ web reality series in the big city of Dallas, Texas. are interested in dating school boy make sure you get those applications in right now just in time for school to be in session <laughs>